Hello, hi, I'm Shane Gabe the Harvard, and this is the Murder of Adam George. Now, the Murder of Adam George is a 3D point and click adventure game that's pretty self explanatory. We got a murder victim, and we have to figure out who did it. Now, this is a game that was developed in just two weeks for the Adventure Jam of 2020. Let's check it out together. New game. Edward, you at the mansion? Uh, yes, me. sir, just arrived. All right. Separate all the witnesses and keep them in their rooms. And be quick about it. Don't talk to anyone. Don't let them near the body. And don't let them leave their rooms. Lock them in if you have to. Wait near the body till I'm there. Okay. All, all right, sir. I am next to the body. Everyone's in separate rooms, awaiting your instructions. All right. Great Let's job. I'll be there as soon as I can. Attention. A pandemic outbreak has been officially declared. All duties are suspended, and a full 24-hour lockdown is to be observed. No oh, one great. is to leave their current residence for any reason. Well, seems like you'll be spending the night. I'll check in with you once the lockdown lifts. What? Yeah, wait, oh, hold We're on. We're trapped with a murderer, Damn. basically. The radio's dead. Looks like I get to spend the night with a dead body. My first real assignment. Hmm. Maybe I can impress the inspector if I solve the case while I'm stuck in here. Let's question That's actually the not a bad idea. I need to find the killer and the murder weapon. I told everyone to go to their computers and open womb chat. They're waiting for me. <laughs> I'll check the body womb once I'm sure of the murder weapon. Alright, womb chat instead of zoom chat. Okay, let's um before we talk to the suspects. Let's uh Adam George's body. Let's look a little bit at the body, come on. Adam George, age 43. Cause of death? Unknown. Hmm. Unknown I'll yet. I'll check the body once I'm sure of the murder weapon. Okay, let's see what we got around here. The computer... I, can, I, guess, we're, I guess we're gonna use that to talk to other people in the, in the mansion. Rhino trophy. Is that a rhino's head? Gross. I mean, it's not exactly gross, it's just, you know. Ah, ha ha ha, no, not touching that. Okay, alright, let's see about the others. Come on. I can use this computer to interrogate the suspects. Okay, how about you that? Oh, come on. The screen's not working. I need to fix that first. Oh, great. Computer... Doesn't seem to be anything... Can I go out? No, There's a right. lockdown right now. I can't right. break the law. I am the <laughs> law. <laughs> oh, right? He's, he's like Judge Dredd. I am the law. Hmm. Elephant tusk. An elephant tusk. Really? This house is weird. Well, I'm gonna keep that. Let's see what we got here. Fireplace. There seems to be a scrap of paper in the ashes. Okay, let's take it. The fireplace tong is missing. Yeah, I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Hmm. Can I use the tusk? No, that's a no. I guess that's a no. What else do we have here? Chef's knife. Potentially a murder weapon? A the murder weapon? knife next to the body. Suspicious? Yes. Evidence? Absolutely. Well, I'm not seeing any any blood on it, but and I, I'm not seeing actually any body on this guy on the on the victim. If he was stabbed or cut, you would see blood. A large knife next to the body. Suspicious? Yeah. All right, a giant bone. That is one massive bone. Eh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Wait. Let's pick this up. That is one massive bone. Alright, well, we picked it up. What else do we have here? Any book? Opening a secret area? No. Couch. Nothing else here. TV. Maybe I can use the TV to replace the computer screen. Why not? Let's do that. Let's see. TV antenna is working well. Now I just need to pick up a signal from the computer. 
Okay. Oh, wait, let's get the... Uh, maybe I can use the knife. Did that work? The turkey leg? That should do it. There's something oh, it worked. on that piece of paper. 7-1, the first half. Well, that's cryptic. Well, I'm, I'm used to that. Okay, 7-1. So that would be a code from something. 7-1, that's the first half. So we need two more digits. I haven't found anything that uses, you know, like a lock or anything that requires a combination. So, all right. Let's what make a... Hmm. I need two large and pointy objects to create my own antenna. Then I need to cut the cable and connect it to that antenna. Okay, okay, so... We got... Well, the tusk, we can use that. That seems pointy enough. And then maybe the bone? No. Oh, he needs something pointy. Okay, sorry, Rhino. I'm gonna have to get this from this you. This might be useful. Alright. Sorry, Rhino. That seems I mean, you're dead, enough. so... Okay, so we got those. And I just it need a cable. The cable. Do I have to cut, maybe? Oh, sorry. Let's cut the cable on the other end. Okay, cool. Well, did you cut it? Oh, okay, he got the cable, alright. That should do it. Well, quite the makeshift uh, device, but so what we can My use it now. My custom-made antenna seems to be working. I'll need to patent that fix once I get out of here. All right. So we okay. So we hooked up the TV to the computer so we can uh, chat with the others, the other people that are in the house. They're just in other rooms. I'm sure it's getting the signal, but there's no picture. There's a note. Smack the TV if it's not working. Oh, My come on. My fists aren't going to have much effect. Need a heavier, hammer-like object. Well, I got the bone. The giant turkey leg. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Let's see if that worked. Aha! I'll need to patent that fix once I get out of here. That too? Oh. Alright. Okay, so this is us. We're Edward William, Associate Inspector, and we have the other suspects. Clara George, the wife of the victim. Claudia George, the doctor of the victim. The, sorry, the daughter. Weber Smith, butler. Sophia Thomas Maid. Well, the butler did it, right? Or Joseph Paul Chef. Okay, let's talk to... Let's talk to the family members first. Please state your name and occupation for the record. Don't worry about the others, I've muted their connection, and they can't hear us. How is their bombing us? I'm Clara, Adam's wife. Okay. What can you tell me about Mr. George? What sort of thing? Well, was it Anything. a happy marriage? Of course. Adam was a kind, honest man, and I can't quite believe he's gone. Sorry for your loss. How long were you married? We just celebrated our second anniversary. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not that long ago, though. Okay. New marriage. Do you have any idea what could have happened? I honestly don't know. I have no idea why anyone would want to hurt him. He could be forthright, of course. Did anyone else have any problems with Mr. George? No. We all loved him. I loved him. Are you sure about that? Everyone loves him? Come on. No one's loved by everyone. Is your family a happy one? Yes, we're a close-knit, happy family. I don't know what we will do now. Hmm. Do you know if Mr. George had any enemies? No one. Everyone liked and respected him. That's impossible. That's literally impossible. How is your relationship with your daughter? With Claudia? She is our darling, the light of our lives. Though she isn't your biological daughter, right? What difference does that make? It doesn't change how I feel about her. I love her very much. Right, right. So this is so she's a stepmom. 
married the father two years ago and the daughter looks like she's young or I mean at least a teenager hmm that could be a problem let's see what Claudia has to say please state your name and occupation for the record don't worry about the others I've muted their connection and they can't hear us my name is Claudia George I am the daughter of Adam George the murder victim I like how state your name and occupation. I am whatever, whatever. I'm the daughter. Being the daughter is not an occupation. I think she's dodging the question. What can you tell me about your father? He is. Was a was. kind man. Yeah. A good father. Raised me by himself ever since mother passed away. So, how do you feel about him remarrying? Did you have any problems with your father? No. As I said before, he was a kind man. He may have had his foibles regarding women, certainly, oh. but I loved him regardless. Hmm, interesting. Do you have any idea what could have happened? I... no, not the moment. Please find out who did this, Inspector. She knows something. Why would she... why would she hesitate there? Hmm... She, I mean, maybe she's trying to hide something or protect someone. Mm. Did any of the employees have any problems with your father? Not at all. Everyone is well paid and happy to be working here. Do you have any other family? Anybody we could contact about your father's passing? Sadly, it was always just the two of us, but I couldn't have asked for a better father. Wait. Right, the two of you? I, I mean, it's... There's... I mean, there's Clara, too. The two of you? What about your mother? She is not my mother. Ooh, I think we... Hit a nerve. Oh, sorry about that. So, your stepmother, then? Technically, yes. I just call her that harpy. And ignore her for the most part. Family drama. So the daughter doesn't like the stepmom, which kind of makes sense. The father likes to have fun with women. Mm, I'm starting to piece together some uh, internal issues and maybe some motives. Maybe if the daughter resents her father for marrying, or maybe the the wife, she doesn't like his relationship with the daughter, hmm, okay, alright, let's see the butler. Please state your name and occupation for the record, don't worry about the others, I've muted their connection, and they can't hear us. My name is Weber Smith, I am the butler of this mansion and also responsible for all its employees. When did you start working in this mansion? I have been working here for nine years. Okay, so he's been here for a long time. That could assume loyalty, like a good relationship with the family and the victim specifically. What can you tell me about Mr. George? An extraordinary man. He always treated us with great respect. Mm -hmm. Did you have any problems with Mr. George? Absolutely not. It was an honor to work for Mr. George. You know what? I kind of tend to believe him. Do you have any idea what could have happened? I am as shocked as everyone else. I have no idea why anyone would want to hurt Mr. George. Come on, you must know something. Did anyone else have any problems with Mr. George? Nothing serious comes to mind. Everyone was happy to be here. I really don't believe that. Gonna be just like, oh, he's just the greatest person ever, everyone loves him, and he just drops dead. Hmm. Alright, Maid Sophia. Please state your name and occupation for the record. Don't worry about the others, I've muted their connection, and they can't hear us. My name is Sophia Thomas, and I work as the maid here. Thomas. Okay, no relation with any other. I was thinking that maybe she... No, but yeah, Thomas, When yeah. did you start working in this mansion? 
five years ago, I believe. Okay, so also a long-time employee. What can you tell me about Mr. George? A strong and determined man. Respectful to his employees. Hmm. Did you have any problems with Mr. George? Problems? I... Oh. N no, of course not. Never. Oh, a, a hesitation. Why? So there's something... Maybe she didn't have the problems, but maybe someone else? Another employee, maybe? Do you have any idea what could have happened? Not at all. Who could have done this awful thing to Adam? Please. You must First get name to basis. the bottom of this. Interesting. Adam? Were the two of you on a first name basis? Right. Oh, it, yes, that's right. He asked us all to address him that way. He was a very humble man. I don't think the butler mentioned him by the, his first name. Okay. Let's circle Sophia as maybe, you know, having an affair with the, with the victim. All right, last one. Joseph Paul, chef. Please state your name and occupation for the record. Don't worry about the others. I've muted their connection and they can't hear us. I am Joseph Paul, the house chef and master of the culinary arts. Hmm. When did you start working in this mansion? With all due respect, inspector, I am hungry. And I refuse to be harangued when I'm hungry. This is a murder investigation. What do you mean harangued? Okay, so we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to... Help the chef eat. Okay. It's pretty cool that you can take control of all of them. All of them in their respective rooms, of course. So, I don't know if there's a computer in the kitchen, but... There's a computer in the kitchen. Alright, and we can't get out, right? It is locked. Right. It's rather late. I wonder when this will be over. Well, when we find the killer, that's when it's gonna be over. I don't think setting the clock will speed up the detective's inspection. Right. Giant turkey. Oh, this is what he served in the other room where, where the victim died. Turkey. A rare strain of giant turkey, exquisitely endangered. Ah, what a masterpiece. Exquisitely endangered? You like eating endangered animals? This part looks salvageable. It will have to do, I suppose. Unfortunately, I am without my best knife. I need something else to cut this. Okay, because the knife was... I, I have the knife. Like, the, 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 the cop has the knife. Uh, let's see, oven, sink, warning letter. A warning letter from Mr. George. A complete misunderstanding. The boorish behavior of one drunken guest was left on me for no good reason. Hmm, potential motive? Fruit bowl. The best and most expensive fruits in the world. Okay, have some fruit then. The best and most expensive... No. Okay, so we're gonna need to cut a turkey. Oh, saltfish! We can use that, I guess. Oh, wait. Come on. An extremely rare, one of a kind swordfish. Made for excellent sashimi. Well, we're gonna use it as a knife. This might be useful. We're improvising. We are improvising. No, come on. Cut the turkey. Alright, okay, so we got a giant turkey leg. Can I cook it? Oh, he put it, okay. The turkey will need some additional flavor to make reheating it worthwhile. Okay, additional mug. Okay, let's get the mug. We got the mug. Excellent! This will revitalize the flavor of the turkey. Okay, put fruits in, and cook. I need something to moisturize it, otherwise it will be extremely dry. Oh Jesus, this guy is crazy AI. Someone died, like his employer died, like, earlier, like, 
probably a few hours ago. And he's just like, oh, I have to eat in a perfect way. Okay, we got some water. Mm -hmm. Patience. It needs around 30 minutes to cook properly. Okay. Patience. Oh, Jesus. Can we make time go faster? Let's speed this up a bit. Oh, okay. Now we can. Okay. Is it done? Is it done? Mm, delicious. Truly, I am a culinary genius. I can't believe this guy waited half an hour. So, is, are you done? Have you eaten? Okay, let's see. Maybe we can actually ask him questions this time. Hmm. Let's try again. When did you start working in this mansion? I've been working here for about oh, a maybe. year now. Mr. George himself hired me. You must okay. be pretty good at cooking then. Oh, yes. I specialize in cooking rare, exotic animals. You name it, and I will know how best to prepare it. Hmm. So he's the one who came uh, a little late here. Let's what say. What can you tell me about Mr. George? A man of exceptional taste. Literally, he knows his food. Right. Can you explain? Oh, this one's good. Care to explain why your knife was in the library? The turkey I served for dinner was larger than normal. I needed that knife to better slice its juicy, moist meats. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Hmm, push further. I'd better question the other suspects first and gather more intel before pushing any further. Okay. Well, let's finish up with the question that we have and then we'll check on the others. Did you have any problems with Mr. George? Not at all. He was an excellent employer. Right. I'd better question... Sorry. Sorry. Do you have any idea what could have happened? Absolutely not. It's shocking. Shocking, I say. Who would murder a man who appreciates the delights of a honey-roasted hyena? Wait, honey-roasted hyena? So this guy was eating very exotic animals. That could be a motive for murder if someone doesn't like that. Hmm. Did anyone else have any problems with Mr. George? Maybe the daughter? I don't believe so. But I'm not particularly close with anyone else in the household, so I'm not sure. Tell me about this letter. Seems like Mr. George wasn't too happy with you. Oh, the you warning, yeah. Understand. There was an issue with a guest who went a little too heavy on the Alicante Boucher. Caused quite the scene. Okay. So, all right, let's let's check on everyone, basically. Let's check on every single character. Uh, Monk? Ah, that's refreshing. Okay. Why is she dressed like a freaking nun? Uh, sorry, not a, a nun, a nurse. Mug. Okay, pick that up. They look amazing. I water them every day. Do you? Ooh. Rat poison. Why would she have rat poison in her room? Soon. Those mice won't stand a chance. I'm starting to suspect mice her. Mice know better than to show themselves while I'm here. Because you know why? Okay, first of all, it's weird to to have mice, mouse poison in your room, right? You're working here. You're not, you know, this is your place. You wouldn't keep something like that in your room. It would be somewhere totally different because it's it's potentially dangerous if you ingest it. And and at the same time, it's poison, right? And I didn't find any blood around the victim, which would suggest he was killed with something like poison, right? Maybe he took poison, or someone gave it to him. And women are more likely to kill using poison. So, you know, we, I think we have a the hot suspect. Look incredibly strong. The roots look incredibly strong. Okay. 
This might not be the most appropriate time to watch TV. I mean, you can watch, nothing's on. Wardrobe. It is locked. I buried the key to my heart. What? It is locked. I buried the key to my heart. Buried the key to my heart. And the flower, maybe? Wait. Let's see it. Oh, sorry. Come on. Put some rat poison in it. We can't. Okay, water then. What? Oh, okay, we got, okay, so we got water and then... Alright, liquid rat poison, okay. Let's try to kill this little, uh, oh, the bed. My bed, neat and tidy as always. Yeah, and if we check it, will we find any, you know, leftover semen from our victim? I can't sleep now. Not until the inspector finds out who hurt Adam. See, first name basis. The others did warrant on first name basis, the other employees. Poor thing looks like it's about to fall apart. Yeah, uh, well. There's something under the roots. There we go. Got the key. It worked. Come, believe she. What do we have here? Photo. Adam, I can't believe he's gone. Who could have done this? There's something written on the back. The number 85, and then it says the second oh. half. 7185, so that's a code. Okay, so she's the prime suspect at this point. She held... Uh, she, ha she has a photo of the victim, first name basis, rat poison. I mean, smells like a fair, and maybe he said that he was going to leave, you know, his wife. And he didn't. And she's been here for five years, so maybe she's she's getting frustrated and decided to kill him. I'm uh, so she's the prime suspect for sure at at this point in time. All right, let's check uh, weather. All right, where the hell is he? I guess he's in his room. Ah, oh, to sleep, perchance to dream. <laughs> The inspector refuses to let us rest. Oh, so you want to rest? Drawer. Oh, drawer, wait. Locked. Locked? Come on, man. How is everything locked in your own room? Fireplace stone. Why is this here? I've been cleaning this all day. Still needs that extra spot of polish. Right. There is no fireplace here. Okay. Uh, let's get. Let's try to open this again. Okay, use fire. Okay. What do we have here? Letter. A final notice from my bank. Those heartless bloodsuckers. Wait, wait, wait. What? What bank? I have the strongest urge to crumple it up and throw it away. But I can't. Financial problems? Wait, wait, wait. Let's dig into this. Well, let me actually let me see if I can. I guess I could ask ask the other others questions, right? That we've seen, maybe. Right. Oh yeah. See. Seems unusual for a maid to be keeping pictures of her employer, wouldn't you say? Unless he's more than an no, employer. It's not mine. I was going to return it to the library after I cleaned it. What's with that number on the back of that photo? Eighty-five. I I don't know. It also says it's the second half. Hmm. Why would you keep rat poison in your room? I'm ashamed to say it, but we have a bit of a mouse problem in the mansion. I was going to take care of the situation myself. Sure, but it still doesn't... That still doesn't explain why it's in your room. I'd better question the other sus... Okay, so apparently we can't push on, you know, someone's... Potential bullshit, if we don't check on everyone. Seems like you had some financial issues. Care to elaborate? Ah, simply a problem with a loan of mine. Nothing to concern yourself over. Well, money's potentially a motive for murder, so... Interesting that you keep a fireplace tongue in your room, especially since there isn't even a fireplace in there. I was... 
cleaning it. Where are you? Okay. Well, you know what? I mean, he actually might have been cleaning it, so I don't, I, I don't know about that. Sophia seems to be the prime suspect still. All right, let's check on the daughter, Claudia. Uh, what does she have here? Wardrobes. I was gonna go out tonight. I wonder how the party's going. Well, your father's dead, so fuck the party. Jesus. What's the point in changing now? Yeah, that's actually she makes the point. My bed. The covers could use changing. Well, change it. No? I mean, you're not doing anything. I can't sleep while the inspector's watching. Well, I'm not really watching. I'm just here to... Photo, what photo? My dear fiancé, I know we'll get back together. Okay. Fiancé. She never mentioned anything like that, like that before. Father and I were going to get more dresses to fill this whole wardrobe. Not anymore, I suppose. You can still buy the dresses, just not There's with your father. There's a combination lock. Oh, come on. Seven, five, two, three, nine, three. That didn't work. I'm pretty sure I left some clues around my room for the combination. Okay. Plants. Why does everyone... I mean... I'll leave this to the maid. She knows how much water it needs. Hmm. Chest. Locked. Oh, come on. Everything's locked in this place. Ooh, gamepad. Gamepad 2 is on setting 4. Gamepad 1 is on setting 2. Wait, what? Gamepad 1 is on setting 2. Wait, let me write this down. So G1, gamepad 1, 2, and what? Gamepad 2? Oh, sorry. Gamepad 2 is on setting 4. Maybe that's the code? 2, 4 or something? My father will probably be on the news right now. I don't need to see that. Right. Heavy books. Console manual? The manual for the latest, hottest gaming console. Page 3. Connect the red cable into the third slot. Okay. Red, okay, 3. Let's try that. Uh, 243. There's a combination. Okay, let's two, four, three, yeah. I got it. Ah, see? There we go. Okay. What's in the wardrobe? Oh, oh come on. Who keeps a, just a key in the wardrobe? That's weird, right? All right. A syringe? A used syringe. Is she a junkie? It's already been used. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we need to talk about this. A hmm. Maybe the daughter isn't that innocent. Oh, sorry. I didn't want that. I wanted to talk to her. A syringe. Maybe she killed her father? Something lethal? She gave him something lethal to, I don't know, fake a heart attack, maybe? Huh. What's that syringe for? Well, if you must know, absolutely none of your business. Okay, there's definitely something wrong here. She might just be a junkie, though. There's your boyfriend? Fiancé, and... Not anymore. My father forced us to break the engagement. I don't blame him, though. Not completely. I blame so him. So you do well. blame him? That harpy had him wrapped around her bony little fingers. To blame both of them. But see, that doesn't make sense. Let's assume that she does... She's very upset with both her father and her stepmom for pushing the fiancé away. But if you'd take revenge on that, you'd kill the person you don't like, which is the stepmom, not the father. All right, Clara, what are you hiding in your room? Hmm. An elephant? Oh, right. I'd rather not. Why? Right, come on, it's a cute elephant. This poor animal should still be walking around. I always hated Adam's strange hobby. Ooh. 
Really? I mean, would that be a motive for murder that he likes eating exotic animals and having a few trophies around? Our oh. bed. I can't imagine sleeping here without him. I am tired, but I can't rest now. Not until I know who killed Adam. Mm. Wait. What the hell? How can I... Okay. I wish I had more wardrobes. I don't have enough. Oh, you're very materialistic. It's not an appropriate time to change clothes. I guess. There's a combination lock. Why does everyone have combination? Okay. Two, zero. Okay, four. No, it would be what? Uh, was seven one eight five, right? Wait. So how do I? Wait. I need to tell her right about the the combination. Let's talk to her. Yeah. Why do you have an elephant head in your room? Oh, this. I know it seems odd, but Adam is very fond of taxidermy. I can't stand it, but the elephant's been here longer than I have. I mean, she could be honest. He's a trophy hunter. The missing tusk is in the library. Do you have any idea why it's there? Adam was obsessed with it because it was broken. He was trying to fix it. Right. There's a rhino head in the library as well. Did he collect them? Yes. Actually, that was a very rare one. Adam spent months tracking it down. It arrived yesterday. Hmm. New purchase. Nah, okay. What's inside the locked wardrobe? I don't know. It's locked. <laughs> oh yeah, see? Try code 7185. Would you try the code 7185? Alright, Inspector. Kinda, it's kind of fucked up that she doesn't know the combination of a locked wardrobe in her own bedroom, though. I mean, that's... isn't that suspicious? What's... Was Adam keeping something from her, maybe? Well, probably the relationship with the maid. There's a combination lock. Alright, so one I twice. Ah, that's right. Okay. What's inside? A gun. Really? Adam's handgun. Okay, so this can't be the murder weapon because we've we've seen blood splatter or something, but it's it's nothing. I don't nothing. want to touch that. Hmm. It must be poison. He must have been poisoned. Okay. Let's let's push uh, the maid. I'd better question the other suspects first. Oh, come on, do we? Oh, there was one more. Okay, never mind. Can you explain what you were doing with a gun? Nothing. It's well, she Adam's wasn't doing gun. anything. Right, see, she wasn't doing anything. I have to tell you, Miss George, finding that gun like that seems suspicious. Almost as though you put it there yourself. You said Mr. George had no enemies. So why did he have a gun? If you have anything else to say, now would be the time. Hmm. What aren't you telling me, Miss George? Actually, there is something about our daughter. What about your daughter? She doesn't well, like you, we know. Claudia's fiancé was less than ideal. Go on. My husband forbade their marriage. And how did Claudia take it? Not well. It was the right decision, though. She'll see that in time. How does she feel about it now? She has been very upset ever since. She even told me she hated him. Thank you, Miss George. I appreciate your candor. I think she hates you more, though. I think she hates you more than her father, so... Alright, let's push uh, the maid. Oh, sorry. Still prime suspect, by the way. I have to tell you, Miss Thomas. Keeping a photo of your boss and rat poison in your room looks... Pretty suspicious to me. Very if suspicious. If you have anything else to say, now would be the time. Do you have anything else to tell me? A, a moment, Inspector. This may be a wild goose chase, but... Please go on. Might be important to the case. The chef 
is a man with a sizable ego. One that can't possibly handle any critiques about his work. She's deflected. And this is relevant to the case? How? Well, uh, I'm not certain about the details, but apparently there was an important dinner party that the chef absolutely ruined. Adam, that is to say Mr. George, was furious at his performance that night. Perhaps the chef is still sore about that incident? That might be important. Thank she's you, throwing, Thomas. No, she's trying to throw me off. the suspects down to two. Time to inspect really? the body to confirm the murder weapon. Really? I still have just one suspect. Aha. Now this is how a proper detective solves a crime. You didn't it's even... either the daughter with a syringe it's or not the, the chef with a knife. What? How did he get to that? No. It's more like that it's... No, okay, let's see the body. That's weird. The body doesn't have any wounds. Yeah, because he was poisoned. On here? Attention residents. We have isolated the cause of the pandemic outbreak. The virus appears to be activated by the presence of a rhino, a turkey, and an elephant. All in what? the same room as a human being. Apparently oh, come on. It from the rhino to the elephant and then to the turkey before finally infecting the human. So really, it's absolutely nothing to worry <laughs> about. What are the chances of all those animals being in the same place at the same time? The guy oh, died die. from... Everyone return to your duties. That is all. <gasps> Come on. I can't Oh, this guy... <laughs> this guy got infected too? There are like two murders. Oh, come on. Okay, so basically... Okay, that was... That, that, you know what? I guess that was a good twist. So the guy wasn't murdered. He just... Because cause he got the rhino... You know, the day before, right? That's uh, he got it on the day before. He had the uh, the elephant tusk because he was trying to, you know, put it back on. And then he had a fucking giant turkey, and that's what eventually led to him dying and us dying. Okay, so everyone, that was uh, well, that was the death of Adam George. N not exactly the murder of Adam George. That was the death of Adam George. The title is uh, misleading, but, you know, I, I get why. Um, now, if you... I mean, it's a cool game, I gotta say. It's a cool game, um, which, you know, if you want to um, show it to someone, maybe, you can find it on GameJoy right now. It is available for Windows and Mac OS. Just see the link in the description below. Again, it was made in just two weeks, but even so, I mean, there's plenty of content, you know, voiced, um, you know, uh, all the characters are voiced. There's, you know, multiple areas to check. Uh, I mean, they look fairly the same, so they're not a lot of assets, but uh, it still looks really good. Um, and yeah, I mean, that twist at the freaking end, Jesus. I mean, technically, 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 he could still have been poisoned. So I don't know. I'm... You know, we could leave that possibility there. Although, you know, our character dying probably solidifies the theory that it, it was the virus. But yeah, anyway, that was the murder of uh, Adam George. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up real quick. And if you like what I do here, of course, subscribe. Check out the back catalog. Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on BitChute to see all the content that I make, all the cool games that I cover. And, very important, after that, take half a minute to see the ways through which you can support me financially so I can continue doing this for a very long time. Uh, you can either give me a direct donation through PayPal, PayPal link in the description, or you can use the video links or the creator tag in the description to buy stuff. And, you know, if you get any games from the Epic Games Store, the Humble Store, or Fanatical, just use those links uh, or creator tag, and whenever you do that, uh, I get a small percentage of the money you spend there, you don't pay more, so it doesn't cost you anything. So that's that's one uh, super easy way to help out. And another way is to, of course, try out the Brave browser, download it to the referral link, install it, try it, see how cool it is, you know, with its built-in uh, ad blocker. Um, it's, um, it's fast, it's based on Chromium, so you can install Chrome extensions on it, and it should use less RAM than Chrome, should be faster than Chrome. Faster startup, faster, faster everything, faster loading and stuff. So check it out. Um, if you get it from the uh, referral link and use it for at least a month, then I will get a small crypto reward from the Brave software team. Of course, if you already use the Brave browser, know that you can tip me on any video of mine on YouTube or on any post that I make on Twitter at Cryptic Hybrid. Follow me there. You can tip me the basic attention tokens that you get if you choose. Very important. If you choose to see ads 
through the Brave browser. That was the murder of, of Adam George. Thanks so much for watching and until the next time we see each other, have an awesome day.